make it back today, don't they? I suppose I ought to make myself available. It's been quiet. It's been a whole week. Good morning, Rose. Good morning. It looks like uh, Jenny's back. I wonder where the rest of them are. Oh. Mm. Have you been sleeping all right? Yeah, rat, rat, sleep, lots and lots. <laughs> That's good. Let's see to getting some breakfast, shall we? Welcome back. Where are the rest of you? Fine, it's fine. Behind me. Um, right. so, okay. Uh, come here for a sec. Oh. Um. No one killed Jonathan. And, uh, Erebos threatened to kill one of the villagers, so we got kicked. Point. That's- I told the mayor that Tali is a werewolf and killed their person. I need to go talk to Wolfric, but you're about to have probably some people come talk to you, and I feel like you need to be warned about that. Uh... Questions? Later. Um, okay. Okay. Is anyone injured, actually? That's the most important one. Uh, not terribly. We mostly got out pretty alright. Okay. Are you sure telling yeah, them um, was, um... Uh, the mayor, you said... Uh, I... No, but, um... It seemed like the right thing to do. We were there to help them. I don't know if it was the best decision, but I think they deserve to know. I have to talk to Wolfric. They're sending a diplomat. He might be here as early as today. Okay. I won't keep you there. I'll talk to you later. Surely a good reason, right? Surely a good reason. Surely a good reason. Good reason. So if you do it left, right, middle, that means Next time you do it, every time, left, right, middle, understand? Very good. Sky, Mikamo need to get sleep. Oh, it's night time. Mikamo's going to sleep. Good night. Ah. Uh, go speak to Gale, maybe. Uh, Mikamo does not want to continue conversation. Are you, are you, is, it, is it just 
push me or every single time you fuckers come back from any sort of mission, you become more and more fucking weird. Mikamo's not weird. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello, friend Anna. Are you injured anywhere? Mikamo doesn't think they're injured. Mikimo's wings may have lost a few feathers though. The explosion <laughs> was quite big. Mikimo nearly got burnt to a crisp. Uh, do feathers grow back? Uh, Mikimo has heard some bird can grow feather back like shedding skin or shedding... shedding, Mikimo thinks. Uh, perhaps Mikimo will grow them back. But Mikamo thinks they would take a long time. Mm. I hope they do. <laughs> Thank you, Raz. But my myself says he prefer. Prefer. Apples? No. Oh. Oh, yes. Um. Yes. Huh. Apples are good. Uh, I'm glad you're not injured. Um. Uh. uh she she ran that way. Uh, pretty quickly. Do you know wh why? Um, perhaps. Uh, um, uh, Mikamo was told uh, Gale should say it, but uh, that's only two, Flora. Um, Mikamo is just worried. Uh, um, uh, Feline killed Jonathan. Mikamo should not have said anything. Mikamo feels bad now. Mikamo should not have said anything. It's all right. Um. <laughs> the way you say Mikimo, that. Mikamo does not think. It seems as though you don't. That's not what everyone wanted, was it? Ah. Uh, Gail and a lot of others did not want Feline to hurt Jonathan, but to give you minutes to uh, slowly die in embrace of mother, uh, Mikamo thinks. But Mikamo understands that Jonathan was going through a lot of pain, so Mikamo is on fence on what to do. So, Mikamo doesn't know. The town wanted to kill Jonathan, and Jonathan could not eat anything but corpse. So, we were trying to get them to leave with the Jonathan, perhaps to save a place. Mikamo suggested Vale, dungeon thing, bandit camp, but Mikamo didn't know how that would go. Uh, and Mikamo was told that was bad idea, so Mikamo stuck with the thought bad idea was bad idea. But uh, cultists attack Jonathan, and apparently they wanted something. Uh, they wanted Jonathan, but also uh, Mikamo's a bit lost. Apparently they mentioned something about Warden's Guild having something that cultists want, or oh, cultists did have. I, I don't know. I'm missing some key information in here. Uh, Mikamo thinks the same as well. Mikamo does, it has only met Colt once. But, uh. Hmm. Well, this is the first time hearing about any of this, it wasn't. Uh, um. Jonathan is child dog m monster thing. That was run. turned into uh, I a cult. Oh. It was turned mm. into a monster? 
My understanding is that they were running experiments on people. I never saw them myself, yeah, but they talked about things. them quite a bit when they came back. Um, yeah, I picked up notes. Someone turned into a plant person. Right. Um. Hmm. Right hmm. back was awfully quiet between Gail and Feline. Gail was the most angry, Mikamo thinks. Even if the it was a horrifying monster, I mean, last minute alive to be with the people you love. What was just killed outright? Jonathan doing anything? Were, were they? Jonathan. I full aid. <laughs> there she goes. I... Why Jonathan were they hurt? Was, um... Jonathan was hurt because cults attacked. Massive group of cultists attacked them while they were leaving. It was too late when we got there. Jonathan was bleeding and we did not think that doctor could get there in time. Mm -hmm. Worst part was that once the incident had occurred, a few minutes later, a doctor arrived. Med medicine person. Hila person. So it's Mika likely he might have survived if Feline hadn't stepped in. Mm, but if At least Feline... for now, right? if he only ate corpses, then... Mm. Mikimo a... did not like the alternative either, in it's case... It's early morning. Mm. Oh, man. Um, it's kind of a jumbled story at the moment. Um, trying to gather all the pieces myself. Well, with the cultists, presumably, there was some creature yeah. named Jonathan that they were trying to get out in some capacity for help in whatever mm -hmm. way they could. Um, they got out. The mo like the mom and him got out. Cultists attacked him, trying to get him back. Then he was injured, dying. Uh, and instead of giving him his last moments with his mother while he was dying, Feline decided to put him out of his misery on her own, <sighs> presumably without asking anyone else. Is that a good summary? <laughs> Um, Mikamo thinks so, but Mikamo would also uh, state that uh, the alternative of them living was not better. Uh, even if they had lived, Jonathan would have been kicked out of town and had to starve with mother next to him, which he might have attacked his mother. Mikamo well, did not like that option either. We won't Everyone know though. The freedom to choose. Hmm. That's and not anything not that we'll ever get to know because they're not around anymore. Yeah. I'm let everyone collect our thoughts. Mm. Got to settle in. I, I think it's breakfast is inside. Um. Yeah, was happy as well. Uh, Mikamo uh, is still a little bit shooken up after explosion. <laughs> Mikamo was the closest to explosion, or it was right around corner when they heard about Kaboom go off, so Mikamo was very scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. It is okay. Mikamo has calmed down for now. Other than, um, I'm sorry to keep asking questions, but other than you said Feline did it to put it out of its misery that's the only reason it wasn't, it didn't do anything it wasn't hostile, it didn't attack anyone Mikamo thinks Feline did not see it 
as child it was once was. Uh, Feline kept saying that it is in pain or in misery. Mikamo thinks that she did not see it as Jonathan, but as monster. I also don't think Gale would have let it stand there if it was being hostile. Jonathan's final words was mother and Gale. could talk to Gale and get his side of things. I think that might be a good place to start. You two seem pretty close, so... Um. Oh. Well, welcome back, Gale. Uh, do you know if Bing's in there? Uh, there's ingots in, so yeah, I'm assuming. He went that way with Flora. I think to Flora's house. If you want, I can. We could talk over there, and I can relay the information to him. Yeah, it's just the thing about the armor. Yeah. I'm going to check on things inside. Um. Oh, God. Uh, good morning, Zogbell. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Um... She ran through here, I saw her. <laughs> oh. Hi. It's time. Here she go. Okay. Uh, 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 did you see Feline run through here? She grabbed her usual and then scurried off. Quick in and out. Ah. Uh, and and have you seen Jenny since? Yes, she came in as well. She was talking with uh, Master Wolfric. I if I had to wager, them maybe outside. Good morning. Good morning. Are we going inside or outside? We're outside. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Everyone, come on in. Oh, I don't think they We're can inside, hear you from out out there. We're all gonna have a nice uh, chat about everything. Might as well make everyone comfortable. Yes. Okay. I believe we should also have a long discussion. Oh, no. 
They're coming inside, Nishka. In here, I think. I feel like it's a meeting hall. Hmm. I have an awful feeling about this. Jenny. And fleeing. we're going to be working with. Now, I know all of y'all did not go on the mission. Only a portion of you. Warn everyone is here, so that way we can all be up to date and there's no uh, misgivings. Also heard that we've been having a tough time as of late. For this reason or the other. If anyone so much as tries to start a fight in this room, they will be detained, no question. We're gonna have a chat. We're gonna talk. And save all the rest of the rabble rousing for, for some other time. Not on guild time. That being said, I'm gonna get one person, maybe two if necessary, from the mission team to give me a rundown exactly what happened with the church specifically. Ophelia, he's heard a condensed version of my story and you were the only one here who was there for the whole thing. Um, well, we had gone in with the bombs and planted them at the, well, at the farthest back that we could. Um, Do you know if we grabbed anything? Didn't have time. We were just going down to clear it, and then... Yeah. Um, there was someone down there who was trying to get us to, uh, I think, test some of their creations. Um, and... Well, that didn't really go as planned when we were trying to talk to them, and then things came and attacked us, all of the creatures. So... creature that was with the uh, cultist that talked to you, did you, did you give me a, a little bit of a rundown of kind of what it looked like? Did it look uh, similar to the size of any of the ones that were reported by Zogbell from the first mission? Um, it looked like the very last one that we had, had seen from the previous mission, uh, when we had released it out to see the sun, I believe. report from Ginny and a half report from Unigo that there was uh, kind of a mixture of others, ones that were a lot more humanoid looking, looked kind of like uh, raw muscle and tissue, but were humanoid in shape, and then others that were spherical. That's awful. Going and running over the data, it looks like a uh, 
for the most part, those match up with uh, some of the documents and the carcasses that were explained during the first mission, but there are a couple of discrepancies. There definitely seemed to have been some work that was conducted in between us getting there the first time and us getting there the second time. So it seems like this whole uh, guild getting help thing, this whole uh, making better creations is something that they're not just uh, making up. Now, for those of you that didn't hear from anyone else just yet, it was reported to me that in the deepest parts, this uh, cultist that was mentioned, it was a uh, solitary member of the same cult. As far as we know, we have uh, no concise name of the order as of yet, at least not one that we can label down on any official documents of ours, which is a problem. We did get half of a motive. It seems as if they uh, treat the uh, tapering and the experimentation of the flesh and the body as some sort of uh, enlightenment, some sort of progression for the subjects. It was stressed that uh, particular traits, particular people, particular personas are more preferable than others. Some of the members of the cult did not find themselves or describe themselves as worthy, including the one inside of the basement by what Inigo said. That being the case, this sounds to me like we are dealing with someone that has a lot more resources and breath than we had. They mentioned that even with this location more or less uh, cleared out, aside from what they had for us, that they weren't even close to being done. And that they had some sort of use for the warden. Now to me that sounds like a challenge. Sounds to me like they want to ante up and see exactly what they've got against us. From here on I want y'all to be looking for the symbols that were shared around here. They're on the reports and if you need a copy of them then those can be shared. It's one of the only leads we got to the identity of this cult other than uh, hearsay and nicknames here or there. Mikamo and uh, Gale and Erebos went on separate side to speak to village folk and uh, overheard Same some cultists say something about wardens or someone taking something from them. Perhaps that is also motive. Uh, I don't fucking care. Give me my leg.
I've been picking up this and that from everyone. I've been seeing a lot more than probably people uh, have expected me to. I'm not happy in either sleep side. Now I know that y'all understand everything that's going on. I understand that all of you have been going through a lot. I understand that all of you are carrying a lot of stuff <laughs> on your shoulders that have been brought to the warden. I also understand that it seems as if we've had a little bit of a choppy road we've been walking. Come face to face with the fact that it seems as if the wardens don't know who the wardens are well enough. That much it seems like falls on me, Zogbell, Fabio, people like us to blame. Warren's just a name to all of y'all. It's just a title that you have. That's not what it is to me. If you make your way farther into air and you visit the main location, you ain't seeing none of this here. There's people dealing with twice the amount of work that we do here and that handle it. Then when the going gets rough, they know their priorities they've pulled through all of the weight necessary to know that the wardens are here for them and I know that that can't be asked for based off of nothing I'm not trying to convince you we're all some happy family right off the bat it's crazy talk but the thing I'm getting tired of hearing is about people who think that their issues supersede the main reason why everyone else is here. They want to take up other people's as precious time with not trying to gain any sort of help, with not trying to come forward to talk to me or Zogmel about this. And I understand that, given everything, that might not be something that people are used to. First thing that has to be more or less reinstated is that Zogmel and I while we are here, we're here for all of you. You pledged your lives to be here. We're standing here at the center of it all, so that way everyone makes the best of what they can out of themselves. At least if people have the gumption and the ambition to do so. This mission was a mess. Objectives were done. But it was a mess. And messes are not what wardens are supposed to be making. Yeah. Wardens are supposed to be getting kicked out of towns. Wardens are not supposed to have diplomats sending letters my way talking about how the wardens are responsible for a heck of a lot that we need to answer for. If I was to say that's all going to change, and it's only going to change with a lot of work. I got the gist of the mission just fine. Between reports that I've already gotten it's already clear to me that whilst we did get the main objective done, not everyone's heads was in the game. I'm on gonna let y'all go. Around midday, I'm gonna be tied up with that said diplomat from earlier. Nishka, I'm gonna need you with me at that time. If you're not over and around Fox and I get is the to you best. first, then I'll be finding some way to contact you. Probably the guild warden, the warden's is a uh, horn. 
understood. Sir? There's one more thing everyone should know. A lot of you saw the, the cultists. Um, they would say a phrase and then explode. There were at least one and I think two that didn't say anything when we were there. Don't rely on them being able to talk or not. Let's go to the inside. And just to make sure all the bases are covered, the symbol looks more or less like a cross with the top rung of it of the vertical line making a eye they have been known to wear uh, long brown cloaks with hoods over their faces. There doesn't seem to be any uh, specialization between any other features on their bodies. We are unsure of their main operating area. We are unsure of any other sorts of identifying distinctive marks. What we have in the reports from the first and second mission are all we have to go on, because that's what the mission team brought home. I doubt the diplomat's going to have more for us. So we got to work with what we got. I don't think I have to tell any of y'all that I, this isn't over. It'll be up to those that want to put in the work to stop this from happening again. That's what it takes. Thanks keeping that in mind. Making it a priority. That being said, Helene, I'm gonna need you for five minutes if you have it. Other than that, everyone else is dismissed. See the cross, find me later. I have one. You okay? Let me show you, Mikamo. I'll find you, I'll find you later. Mm. You might want to check. What's up? Oracle is uh, in the channel below. She might be ready. I don't know. Okay, she said. You said she's almost ready. Well, I don't know. She's on the channel below, but you know, just thought. Uh, gotcha. Might be around time. Okay. Let's hop in. Are you alright? Do you have a moment? Well, no, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. I just wanted to know if, well, things were okay with everything and what we talked about. Well, what you and Ozil talked about, but... Yeah, um, uh, we didn't, we haven't started anything yet. I, he ended up going with you guys. But hearing Wolfric... Oh, that's right, that's right, he did. He's talking about how 
they're here for us and we shouldn't prioritize our own problems. I think maybe he should know. At least him. What do you think? Well, Frick. I've already been involved in one reckless decision relating to spirits. I don't want him to see this one as a second. When it's something entirely of our own volition. It's not a trap. It's not a, a bond. It's it's an agreed contract. Right. I don't want anyone to see it as things that happened before. Um, I feel like he owes we we owe him at least the honesty that it's going to be happening. Right. I mean, yes, I, I, I think I could agree with that. I mean, ultimately, it's between you and Ozul to make that decision, but the way I see it is that there have been plenty of secrets kept from the guild members, as is, or, I'm sorry, the guild leaders. Right. And they're pretty much the only people that really have a say, so I don't see a point in holding it from them. I mean, I just, I suppose I also worry about Ozul. If anyone saw this and didn't know what was going on, I'd hate for them to blame him and for things to go poorly. Yeah. Um, I'll see if I can speak with him then, and then if he's alright with it, then at least Wolfric should know. Um, <coughs> I am sorry about what happened. At the mission. It's nothing we really we can do about that now. No, but it wasn't right. Well, no, no, it wasn't. I think the only person who should really be getting that apology, though, is his mother. And the people he was close with. I was not one of them. Yeah. You're right. Um, I'll keep you updated about what Ozil and I talk about if he doesn't tell you first. And, um, your opinion is still valued in this. I don't want you to think that you don't have a say, because you do. I'll remember that, but I do trust you guys. It'll be like ripping a bandaid off. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. I'll just be happy to be rid of it, for being honest. No more detriment to myself or anyone else. <laughs> One can hope. I may find you after a little while. I've got a, a couple things on my agenda now, but if you're around, we can talk. Definitely rest, though. Get something to eat. <laughs> yes, that is, that is next on my things to do. <laughs> Stand by you, then. Strong too. Strong like 
My demeanor is me having a terrible. You were worried of offending them. Oh, I see. I apologize. Um, go. Enjoy your yes. drinks or what have you. I will go. I am hungry. Have you? Eat your wine. Travel safe. I just yeah. only need you to drop that off. Yeah. At some point, can I get a picture of the symbol you were talking about this morning? Yeah. Um, I will make a sketch. Uh, Mikomo has my physical copy. Um, so if you ask him, he can probably tell you where that is. I don't know. He wasn't carrying it a second ago, but he's over with the Dreamcatcher. But yes. Thank you. I'll, I'll make sure you get a copy by, by morning. Sounds good. Well, just in case, I'll also ask him. Of course. I need to go catch me come up really quick for Are you all right, Flora? Are you gonna take to explain to me what I should be feeling? No. Are you coming back? I don't understand the full situation. I wasn't there. But what I have heard doesn't sound right. I've not spoken to many about it yet. Um... And... We all saw how you... Y you reacted. So... I'm just worried, that's all. Your your eyes, they... What are your eyes? Mm. You mean how I reacted when I knew the power that I decided to call my nephew was burned? Yes. Yes. Is there any other information I can get? It's funny that everyone and out of the instead of saying I'm sorry to come in to comfort me, instead tried to come to me to make understand why the woman killed my child. It's not fair. I'm not even. Could it take a second? I'm not even dead. Mm -hmm. I remember I'm under an immense amount of numbness right now. And Thank you. Uh, um. I felt so helpless because I know no matter what I do right now, no matter if I try to talk to Feline, no matter if I try to scream. If I cry, I will be seen as the wrong one in this situation. No matter if I try to get justice, everyone would defend her. All I have to do is shut my mouth and cry in silence. People already did. So many it. people are coming to me to tell me to not do anything and forgive her or let it go because no matter what I do, she will get away from this scot free. Every time I try to approach her, I try. But that's wrong. And that's not the first time it's happened here. She's not the first person who might get away with it. It's not fair. And you're right. I'm surprised, Anna. Honestly, if we don't act, who will? I, I don't want to hurt her, Anna. It's not like I want her dead. It's not like I want her hurt. It's not like I want to hurt her. No, and... I just want... I just want to feel like this death was not just forgotten. 
I'm in the way. I don't want to see her hurt either, but that doesn't mean what she did was right. Why is it that people are constantly getting away with their actions here? I thought this place was different. It's exactly like the Academy. People think I'll just side with Feline because she's my friend, but that's not always true. I thought you would. But, um, okay. It's not that I want you to be on my side, but I want you to help me. But I appreciate that you're at least not blaming me or making me feel worse. I can't even begin to imagine how you feel right now. Thank you for not telling me how to feel, Anna. I appreciate it a lot. I will have to warn you. I'm trying to so badly not be the worst person in this situation. I would not be able to heal Feline by my own hands. I will leave that duty to you. I understand. I do appreciate not escalating I it though. If it's a case of that and life, I will if I'm the only healer that would be so nasty if she's hard to heal her. I understand. can understand how close I was to cutting her down when she did that. So, so very close. Even now, I feel rather close. Sal trying to kill me didn't make me this upset. Even if he would have died there, if we couldn't have saved him, she stole something so fucking precious from both of them. Just five minutes together. She could have had five more minutes with her fucking son. Do you know what kind of lengths I would go to for five more fucking minutes with my dad? Entire, the entire mission, she was trying to kill him. She wanted to. Wouldn't listen to anybody else. I'm sorry. I just don't understand why me, everyone who is hurting from his death, has to be the one to understand her logic. 
has to be the ones to let it slide, has to be the ones to forgive her, when she herself didn't show any remorse so far. Did she ever say sorry when I went there? She immediately started defending herself. Did she come after me to try and pursue any explanation on what she did? No, because she believes she is right. And that no one else deserves to understand. Because we should automatically understand. Tell me, did she comfort the mother as she killed the child off? Did she help the funeral? No. Neither of those did she do. Did she even see him as a child? No, she didn't. We're not blaming you, Anna. And I'm not trying to make you against your friend. Don't. I'm not trying to make her rift between you two or make you against her. I'm just tired of people telling me what to feel about her and what happened to my nephew. The child that I put to bed. The child that I played with. The child that I taught how to read a little bit. The child that would tell me that he wanted to be like us. Even if it wouldn't live for years. He had the right to at least be a kid. No one has the right to kill something and then explain themselves to the bereaved and the grieving why they did it. That's what's happening now, though. And no matter what we do, she's gonna get this scot free. You know how many people are coming to me to tell me to forget this, to not go after her because I will be seen as the bad person? Bad people do good things, Laura. I just want justice. I want justice for my nephew. I want justice for a child. What would you suggest? That is. That she was a that she was child for it. That she had to work pay it somehow. I'm not sure. For her to show any kind of remorse. And the guild leaders, have they said? Have they reacted? Have they... I said that... I talked to Zog then. He had a talk with her about tell us about it. He's royalty, you know. He is above there. Justice. We are in his land. Seems like it doesn't matter if you're royalty. If the law doesn't do something, then the pe people do. No one is above justice. No one. I don't know community centers for her. Be in a jail for a few days. Help in the graveyard. Anything. There is no justice that will ever be received to kill a child, but there's something to show that she understood the weight that she carries now. I'm not asking her to be hung or for us to go beat her up or anything like that. I just don't want this death to be forgotten. I've not spoken to her yet. I don't know if she'll listen, but Maybe I can get her to at least see reason. Again, Anna, I'm not doing this to make you against her or tell her that she's a monster. I don't believe she did this without me. I don't believe she did this. 
just for fun. I want to believe that he feels some kind of remorse. I love her dearly. I do. But there's got to be a limit to to what's allowed and what's not. And it it crushes my heart to even say it, but I agree that some accountability for her, for Talia, something, anything. I don't know. I don't have answers. I wish I did. I don't ask you for answers, Anna. This... This, this is enough for me, honestly. I do believe Alia and her should have some accountability. I know it seemed like I defended Alia when that happened, but... I just want people to stop telling me to just forgive and forget. That's not fair either. Nobody should be doing that. Telling you how to feel. Telling you how to grieve. Telling you who to forgive. It's not up to them. Oh, Jenny seems like very, very intent on doing so. I thought she was my friend. I think she does her best. And sometimes she's wrong. I don't know. I haven't had time to speak to her much either. Um. I was fully expecting you to defend Feline, if I'm honest. I'm sorry for thinking so lowly of you. That's alright. I don't really blame you. I won't lie. If, if a fight broke out, I, I would try to stop it. But not for, not for her sake and, and not for yours. Just to keep things as well contained as we can. Not because she's right and not because you're wrong or anything. It's just the last time that happened, it's, I don't know, it, it, it's awful. I don't want to solve my hurt causing more hurt. I will not solve it. I appreciate it. I am going to try and collect some flocks and things. Oh. Well, except my mind. That makes you feel better for the time being. Like I said, I don't want to put you against her or to what I said to try to persuade you anyway. I just appreciate you listening to me. Not a lot of people are doing that. Of course. I wasn't expecting to see Ozil today. I was hoping to talk to him about what we spoke. It's only a moment. We can just walk over there for a second. You're welcome to join us. Sorry to drag you away. I know Gobby can be...
quite entertaining. Um. Last week. He had a pot helmet. Uh, he. Yes. He, he did. It suits him, oddly enough. Um. Last time we spoke, I, 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 I mentioned wanting to keep this a secret. Um, I don't know if you heard Wolfric's speech, but he mentioned that this guild has gone so out of control and that maybe we're not used to trusting one another and perhaps the first steps of, of doing that. I thought maybe he ought to know about what we're going to be doing. Partially for your safety. Our previous experience with these things have gone very poorly. And I don't want anyone blaming you. I think maybe the guild leaders at least deserve some honesty. But only if you're comfortable with it. We do not understand why we would not be. Well, it's your secret to keep, too. I don't want to encroach on anything that would make you feel awful or, um, look, someone treat you differently. Um, I just want you to be safe, is all. I know that some people don't really, um, agree with your presence, and I don't want to add to that. I don't want any more of that. That's all. We are not against this. If you're sure. Um... probably tell him tomorrow. He seems to have his hands full, honestly, with everything else. The diplomat and, 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 and Talia and, and Feline and, and Ginny and everything, absolutely everything, being turned on its head today. Um, thank you, though. Again. Why are you doing that? Doing what? They're doing... Why are you moving your head like that? Is he always like this? Yes. That, that, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> We didn't do anything. <laughs> I think people should get to know you more, Ozu. More people. You're not as scary as they think you are. At least not to me. What? We choose not to be scary right now. We can be quite terrifying. Well, I suppose you're right. I, I have seen a few things, but I more so mean that you're, um... You're quite easy to get on with, is all. I've kept you long enough though. I just mean you're easy to talk to. You make jokes and we have conversations. It's I I, I gave you the last one. I don't know if you're eyeing my apple, this is mine. Um We would never 
Are you going to eat that bottle? What? I'm saving it for health potions. Why are you eating bot? Mm. You let him eat bottles. He eats candles. I don't know if that's a good we idea. We take them straight off the dining tables. <laughs> Is that why some of them are missing? <laughs> hmm. We've eaten approximately five. I suppose to each their own. Who am I to judge? I think Ginny's waiting for me, though. And she looks quite down. I feel like I have a responsibility to her. Good luck. Thank you. You waiting for me? Hi, Anna. Eh, yeah, very good. I figured I'd give up after a while if you're still talking. No, it was quick. Do you want to talk? I have literally no idea how to even begin, but yeah, kinda. Let's, uh, let's go somewhere. Um. Hmm. Where will we go? Do you want to be indoors or outside? Probably outside. <laughs> All right. Fewer corners for people to snoop around. Hmm. Whatever. Honestly, I don't even care. Do you know where Feline's off to? Seen her in a little while, but I think she's avoiding everyone. <laughs> That's not going to solve anything. No, but neither is them just being pissed forever. She's not going to be able to change their minds on that, so. Do you think she should change their minds on that? I'm not sure that what she did is right, but I'm also not sure that what she did is wrong. I suppose we'll talk about that. You know better than I. I've only been collecting stories from everyone else. Yeah. I wasn't there. And unfortunately, most people, that's the thing. Everyone thinks that they can judge a situation without knowing it. Well, without asking Feline why. <sighs> Shouldn't this should be a corner? This should be fine enough over here. <laughs> no one can sneak up behind us, I suppose. But if anyone needs a medic. They'll find me eventually. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Though, if anyone else manages to fuck everything up and get injured today, to a certain extent, good riddance. Uh, I hope not. Before we get into it, this is a selfish thing. What did you do this week? I want to talk about anything else. <laughs> Honestly, not Mr. much. Nishka and I got together and started planning things out for the inside of the Inventors Guild. Um, I spent a lot of time researching more medical, because I need to be a better doctor, not a healer. But otherwise, um, I got some keys made. Um, I gave one to Marcel already, but one's for you and one's for Feline as well. That's pretty much all I did, other than wait for you to come back. Better now. It's very quiet Lots without you all. 
Um, I've not seen much of him. He's been with Cassandra quite a bit, helping her. He asked for his weapons back from my house, because they've just been sitting there for like two weeks. But, uh, didn't really seem interested in talking, and I didn't really think it was worth pressing. I don't know if you've pissed at me, or Beline, or both of us, or neither of us. Or... Truthfully, I've not really had the chance to speak to him, so I can't really say. It was a hell of a lot quieter without you all, too. <laughs> I don't know about all that. It sounds like you took all the noise with you. It was a very quiet walk home, all told. Aline was hanging back for most of the time. At least in part my fault. How is it your fault? Because I fucked up and was pissed and gave her a lecture that she didn't need. I knew it was wrong the first thing the next morning, but... Well, I had already done it. I always take my foot and shove it straight in my mouth, like an idiot. <sighs> so much easier when you're just not attached to people and there's nothing to fuck up. <laughs> you might be at a loss there. My perspective on that part of it, the Feline part, I showed up, some cultists had attacked him or something, I'm not entirely sure, but by the time that I caught up to everyone, because I went the long way around to make sure there weren't any more cultists lurking in the woods, but when I caught up, most of the cultists were dead. Finished off the last couple. None of them surrendered. They never surrender. They always just explode, or try to stab you, or do stab you, or... One day. One day, we will have a meaningful interaction that doesn't require someone to immediately die. Jonathan was pretty badly hurt. I'm not a healer. I don't know that much about injuries. I don't really have a sense of what happened to him because I wasn't there for a lot of it and I didn't take all that close of a look, but honestly, to me, it looked really bad. I went to town to get a healer, but I didn't think I was gonna get one. When we got there that morning, we met with the town at the gate. People came out and talked to us, and they were like, you're here to kill the creature, right? And, and we didn't have a leader, which was not a very decision, but well, one that I made. But anyway, so I'm like, well, that's not really up to me, but we'll go talk and figure out what's going to happen, and then let you know. So we went and talked, but they made it very clear that if we didn't kill him, that they were going to go do it, like, right. Like, if we said, no, we're not going to do it, they literally would have, like, went and grabbed swords and just gone and done it. Like, they were not happy. And they were planning to drive her out of town, too, from what I gather. That's a little less obvious. But what I'm getting at is I went back for a healer, and I had not exactly talked them in. Well, I, yeah, I had to talk them into it. Because they were like, well, he's a monster, or isn't that supposed to be the thing? Um, and I don't even remember, but somehow, a healer's apprentice came with me. And when we got back, Feline had killed him. But in all honesty, from where I was standing, he was dead anyways. A healer wasn't for him. The healer was so that the mom felt like we had done everything. he was going to die then, or in an hour, or in the day. And... 
broke my heart to see a kid crying. You know. But there's more to it than just was he suffering. Because they wanted to drive her out of town too. And when he was dead and she was there weeping, they took him and buried him in the town. And she's still there. Which means she's still got a home and a place. He doesn't have a son, but she wasn't going to have a son anyways, and so I don't really agree with what Feline did, but I don't think it was wrong either, and I don't know, and... You're right, at least about one thing. Just... What's if that? They, if they were going to drive them both out, if he lived, she would be alone somewhere at some point, it sounds like. Yep. And them wandering through the woods with injuries and blood everywhere. He's probably going to end up alone next to something that is eating her son. But you're also right about... I don't know. I don't like... I don't like it. It's still not right. But like... Why? I know why, right? But like... Why is it better? We feel better about it. But who does it help to have let him live for five more minutes? Really, truly, like... I'm trying to figure this out, because I actually don't know. I would love to say that it helps the mother, because she got five more minutes. But five more minutes of what? weeping at his dying gasps? I'm not sure, really. It's... I have no idea. It's complicated. It's it's not about whether or not he would have been dead anyway. I think it's about whether or not he would have been able to pass as is instead of someone making any attempt to do it for him. Someone thought that they had the authority to make that choice. I think that's what bothers me Say about I'm it at least. Out on the battlefield. You're a healer. You come over and you find that there's nothing you can do. Are you asking me to if put you, you out of your misery? What I'm asking is, is might you give me painkillers? Might you knock me out? Might you lie to me? I don't think I could lie to you. I would do what I could, but... Out of fear that you'd just never wake up again? I would Hi, apologies. give you, you as much time as I could. I'm not sure that's what I mean. if it's relevant, if but Nishka is talking to Bing in the cave directly in front of the runic circle. Um, Because it really seems to me like if that happens, then the only thing that I get for staying awake for one, two, five, ten more minutes one is, spying, is ten more minutes which of is her you current assumption about the Calabies. hurting with the ward specifically? And nothing that either of yeah. us can do about that. It's no. a crap shoot, but nope. she's trying. I thought I'd let you know. Alright. And I'm really struggling to see how that's better. I'm not saying I want you to kill me. I would never ask you to do that. I don't know, Ginny. And that's part of the problem, too, is that there's no telling. We have no idea if, if the healer could have fixed him. Or if you would live in that situation. Because the choice could have been gone. 
the 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 reality where you survive would have just been gone because someone made the choice themselves and it could have been the wrong one but that's the hard part is that we don't know if it was the right one or the wrong one because yeah. that's what it means to make a choice yeah and we're never gonna know there's never gonna be an answer to that question would it have been better for him no nobody can really we can't see the future If only. Hello. I'm a visitor. The diplomat? When you have time, I, I told you earlier. Okay, one sec. I'm in a conversation. Uh -huh. They came because I told the mayor about Talia. I don't know if anyone agrees with me on that one. Celine, probably. <laughs> I don't think you were wrong in it. I think it was dangerous for you to do, but I think we all agree that a little more accountability around here is needed. For her and for Feline, honestly. I love her to pieces, but... <sighs> Come on. I don't know. What does accountability look like? For her. For Talia, it seems obvious to me. I don't think anyone's willing to do it. Not the people here, at least. Not most of them, but... For Feline, I... The reality is... She's trying to be better, and she's getting better. She's not the same person as when she got here. She's a better person, and she's still trying to be better than that. And... That's why I was wrong to lecture her, because she doesn't need the lecture she knows when she's doing the right things. And she's not always going to make the right choices, but she's trying. I'm trying, and... I think that the one thing that I've done that I can definitely say helped people is telling the mayor about Talia, because that woman got to come here and get an explanation for how, why her husband died. And if there's one thing I've done in that guild that helped anyone, it's that. But the guild thinks that that means that I'm not good for it. Is that what they told you? Wolfric said that I really needed to think about whether I wanted to be here. That he thought maybe it was better that I just go back to my war. What do you think? I think... there are about two people here with whom I haven't burned almost every bridge. Three if you count Nishka, but it really is day by day with that one. I don't feel like I'm making a difference here. And really, I wasn't there either. I... I don't think that's true. You say it yourself. You telling the mayor may have made a difference. And I think you're the only thing helping Feline. I've run miles with her and I don't feel like I'm helping anymore. I'm getting more and more frustrated. I'm trying to understand, but it's... 
She needs someone new. I think that too. Part of me thinks that might be enough. Just on its own, you know? I used to make a difference. At home. The courier is sweet. We managed to get a lot more done. Our we helped people not be alone. Get coordinated, get stronger. Made a difference and then... Well, then things went bad, and couriers were a bit persona non grata. I don't think I've done that much the last few years. Maybe helping Feline is the thing, but it's really hard to know that nobody's ever going to care. I think I just have to get used to the fact that that's how it's going to be. Get used to the fact that people here are calling me Feline's bodyguard. <laughs> Flora thought that I would side with Feline. She thought less of me before we'd ever even spoken about it. I won't let anyone hurt her, but I can't say that they're entirely wrong in wanting justice. And what does that look like? Flora? Did he say he murdered him? Or she murdered him? Is that what that looks like? I don't know. Is that justice? I don't know either. Flora suggested Flora? compensation. Sorry. Or community service. She's not even asking for her head. Just something fair. I don't think that's unreasonable. Why is it Flora's call? Why does she get to make that decision? She doesn't. Not the hypocrisy. If anyone, the mother should be spoken to. Something. The mother. But still, the that's... the only one that gets to decide. That's better if than that's just Flora's nothing rules, happening. Okay. okay. Sorry. If the diplomat stays overnight, I'll... Well... I'll send a letter to the mother. Perhaps I can ask her to take it back. Otherwise, I'll make the trip. A couple days. I think you're right. I think that it's not unreasonable for... But this is all predicated on us assuming that we don't agree with what Feline did, and I- this is where I break down, is like... I'm not... Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's not important. Maybe it's about the process. Maybe there's an argument to be made that this is just the easiest way to get everyone off of her ass. I don't... I wish I had answers. That's what I told Flora. 
I wish I had, like, all the right words to make everyone feel better. But I don't even understand half of it. I wasn't there. I've only heard your side and Flora's side and how fed up Gale is and Wolfric's reaction to everything. Gale, who stood face to face with Feline, nose to nose, getting up in her business, along with Ozul and Erebos and everybody else, standing over the corpse. Masterful play from them. Fucking men sometimes, like, god damn it, look <laughs> around. That's what she needed, right? Was to have them fighting over her son's corpse. We've all got a long way to go. I don't think anyone is innocent yeah. in that. Need to figure out which battles are worth fighting, I guess. I really need to get back to, like, doing stuff. Building shit. <laughs> Yeah. I need to teach Fabian how to heal. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it one way or another. We need more healers. Yeah. And he's always around, so who's the better candidate? He apologized, you know, for everything. Like an actual apology, not like, and I'm sorry, it was like this big thing. I believe him. And I understand, I, I may not like it, but I do believe him. He was just looking out for the guild. We were looking after Feline. It's not any different. Yeah. Sansa's licking my toes. I don't like it. Well. I suppose if you're convinced, that should probably be at least a good portion of the way to being enough for me. <laughs> To each their own, really. If you're not satisfied, you don't need to be. It's up to you. Not a hundred percent sure that I'll be eating food in his presence for a while, still. <laughs> yeah. Especially because I think that more and more I've drawn lines between myself and everyone else here. If you ever leave without saying goodbye, I'll send Feline after you. <laughs> if I ever had to leave without saying goodbye, I'd make sure that I came back. I don't think I can stand losing any more people, honestly. That was hard enough. Starting to figure out how that feels. <laughs> about you and Feline and maybe Nishka. Raz, probably. If he's made any progress. I have to ask him about it. We're making wings, both of us. Him for Dobby and me for flying. <laughs> but I need to be a lot better at my magic. And I'm not right now. No. One step at a time, I suppose.
Want to practice with me? We'll get you wings too. <laughs> Feline can be jealous. As appealing as that sounds, I think my feet are better off planted on the ground. Yeah, fair enough. But I would be happy to watch you fly. <laughs> Ideally, I'd find a way to make them work for Feline too, but I think that's going to be a lot harder of a process. I still so start small. Want to hmm? get her wings back somehow. I know that's stupid. I know. I, you don't even. You don't need to say it. But I'm not sure that I think it's stupid. There's no I easy way to do it. What we thought was a magical artifact to get her wings back. So, like, Brad's <laughs> Yeah. Pretty sure she'd kill me if she ever found out <laughs> about the details of that. I think she knows the details. I can't remember if I've said anything. That's probably not great. I told her a bit. I don't remember. I think she would still be pretty Usually upset. Better at keeping track of this stuff. If she found out that I was still trying. Yeah. <laughs> When she got back, I asked her about it. Because I haven't checked, but I have put together that they're not there, given the fact that we're still talking about it. <laughs> but given that she has not flown anywhere, or given any signs of having them, and whatever, she came back and wouldn't even acknowledge that the interaction that we had when she was taken happened. That's been nagging at me. Something else to talk to her about, then? Don't talk to her about it. <laughs> it's on the to-do list, but I'm a little... iffy. I won't bring it Part up. of me thought that she did have her wings back and that you had lied to me, and that was a whole fucking day, but like, you know, I figured that was pretty unlikely. You Honestly. seemed pretty distraught, and... I wish that were the case. Yeah. It also didn't seem like it made any sense to lie to me about it, because... <laughs> that would just mean our plan worked, you know? Like, I don't... I don't know. No. Maybe you're both playing an angle that I'm not seeing, and you're both just making use of Ginny as best you can. I'm pretty sure you're wrapped up in all of this just as much as we are now. I don't think the spirit liked that it's you saw them. They've been oddly silent no since problem. all of that. That can't be a good thing. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> Just finding ways for them to not have as much control. That would be nice. Well, if we all agree not to ever talk to it again. If I do, I'll let you know. See, but this is the thing. If you've already <laughs> done so, then we already have problems, Anna. I've this is how you and Feline both got into trouble, is you both went and talked to spirits and made deals without talking to one another about it. I only did it because I knew that she would stop me if she knew. Then she took it into her own hands anyway. I think we're both to blame for that one. Sounds to me like you didn't trust her very much. <laughs> now, you're probably right. Right, I'm not going to pretend like you're not, but... She's got a track record uh -huh. of making decisions for me. Not a lost child. Can do things on my own. Yeah. I'm trying to be a little less. I don't even know what the word is. 
I agree with people or I disagree with them. It's not often my choice to make that decision for them, I guess. You know? I can try to talk people out of it. I can try to find alternatives or give them options that they might not have thought about or whatever, but... I... If what someone's doing isn't hurting someone or themselves, then... Then I'm done trying to fix it directly, at least for me. I want to tell you. I don't have you. it in me to fix every, fight every battle. I probably would have until I yelled at Feline for no fucking reason. Basically <laughs> threw her past in her face because I'm a fucking idiot. Were you right in your argument, though? Maybe the lecture wasn't appropriate, but were you right? not so sure. It's tough to know, like... I absolutely wasn't right in how I approached it. She didn't need a lecture. I should have asked her. I should have asked if she would be willing to explain it to me. It's what I used to do. literally how I first ever spoke to her. <laughs> I asked her for advice. She gave it to me. That's how I knew she wasn't as awful as everyone thinks. She's not. There's still a lot, but she's not a monster. I know I'm going to have to talk to her at some point. I don't think it's going to go very well. Is there a reason to talk to her about this? No, and I don't want to add to the pile. I'm sure she's heard it enough today. But... She always does this thing where I walk up to her and she'll say, what? Are you mad at me? <laughs> what? What's wrong? <laughs> Are you going to tell me what they told me? In fairness, she does that to everybody. That's not just you. That's almost verbatim what I get, so. Just wish she'd have some faith. I ask a weird question. Sure. Let's say that there was a different reason. Let's I'm say she's trying to keep up appearances on something. <laughs> Put people at arm's length. Like she's always done. In regards to what? Might that look like this? All of it. You, me, the guild, Nishka. All of it. Distancing herself. Doing something that makes the life of a woman better at the cost of the child's life who's probably already dead. That's a weird choice to make and then be so brusque about. 
That's her thinking about more than just what's in front of her. And then it doesn't make any sense, the explanation. Maybe it does. I don't know. I need to think more on it. But I'm wondering if there might not be something else going on. There might be. I've never really thought of it that way. I'm not sure I like that very much. No, but... I'm gonna keep thinking on it. I should probably find her, though. She yeah. probably does think I'm mad she at her. She walked off that way, but that was... <laughs> Bring her oh, up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if she thinks you're encouraging one bad habit, maybe she won't uh, be so pissed about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's... That's a good idea. Drop this off, and then I'll go find her. Take care of yourself, Anna. Don't get kicked out while I'm gone. I can still say goodbye if I get kicked out. <laughs> I'm just glad that they didn't do that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that it hasn't happened yet. Wolfric's too nice for his own good. savvy than people give him credit for. Perhaps. I think that's why I believe in him so much. Why I think I believe in his vision. See, here's where we differ. Because to me, the fact that he's still got something that he should have held over me and didn't is awful. Mm -hmm. Maybe he sees potential. I think you do more good than harm. I think that depends on who you're asking. <laughs> I think from Zogbell's frame of view, I probably do a lot more harm than good. But you know what? Zogbell can get fucked. <laughs> Don't let him hear you say that. <sighs> My job today, from Wolfric, was not to make things worse. So yes, I'm not going to let him, let, let him hear that. <laughs> Even though I really would like to. Is that Feline? No, it's Gale. He's running, I don't like that. Hey, Anya. You too busy to fix Gobby? He broke both his legs. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. No, we can do that. Have fun. Thanks. Alright. He's in the guild hall. All right. Gail, you seen Nishka again? Uh. We don't know. Oh, man. Anna. Anna. He's right here. <laughs> don't be sad. He tried to do what Gale does and jump off cliffs and shit, and then he, he did We have a healing lamp. potion. That's... Uh, hmm. I wanna jump off a cliff. That sounds fun. How do I do it? No. Gale! Remove your Gale, how do you do it? By being a cat. Oh, man. All oh, right. My ears are pointing like the cat I could... I can hear the internal bleeding, but you're going to have some, um, some interesting walking periods while you've got these, you know, splints on your legs. Drink.
sound like. Yeah. You're always jumping off of things. Why did you break your legs now? Oh, I normally roll, but I saw Gail just kind of land, and I wanted to try doing that. We fed him a mana healing potion. That's the one. Well. That's because he's a Thank cat. Thank you. Oh, uh, can you make me a cat? Um, that's. I, I don't think my magic can do that. Oh, no. I'm sorry. We can become a bird if we try hard enough. Well, I you're different. Be a bird. Oh, wait, Ross, make me a bird. I think I can be a bird. I've heard about that. I've heard what he and Ginny have been working on. <laughs> the day you both fly will be a very great day. You look pretty comfortable for someone who's just broken their legs. Yeah, it hurts you a lot. The floor I can't and feel hasn't it. Moved at all. Yeah, it seems like y'all with that your work cut out for you. So you've got some some uh wooden um well I I I could break them in half because you're you're shorter than the average patient. And it's wrapped in rather small. tight gauze, so your legs have to stay completely straight while they heal. Um, with oh the yeah. healing process, it shouldn't take as long as normal, but you'll have a really hard time going up and down some stairs. So you might want to get some help. I do with want those. us to lift you? No, I'll just lie here. <laughs> you know, I was expecting to have to heal worse injuries today. In a very awful way, I'm thankful that it's your legs. Sorry. This reminds us of the time we got stabbed by a dust bunny. Dust bunny took my needles. A dust bunny stabbed a short sword straight through my leg. Oh my god. It was mop. That sounds about right. They seem rather chaotic. We were tempted to eat him. No, oh, they're lovely. No. I think, I think the second one is this time. <sighs> Do you mind helping him up? <sighs> oh! That was almost embarrassing. Don't fall. <sighs> that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> Well, straight onto my nose. I'll be back for you. Would you like us to lift you up? You're just gonna let him struggle on the floor. Yeah. He didn't ask for help. In fact, he wouldn't let us. Oh. This is his choice. He politely declined. Oh. Oh, good. The last one. Don't let anyone else break their legs. I make no promises. Both of you? Well, actually, 
actually. I could make this a little exercise. If I were Feline, where would I be? Hmm. Ozu, Gale, and Pius are laughing at a cripple. Can't have gone too far, right? <sighs> it's lumpier than usual. Maybe if I look up on the rocks. Of course. Have you seen Feline anywhere? No, I haven't. Are you feeling alright? Any better than before? Yeah, I'm recovering. Slowly but surely. I'm glad. I'm sorry we couldn't do more. No, you did just fine. You did perfect. <laughs> well, I see that you make a speedy recovery. For Moss House's sake, at least. He's been very worried about you. Yeah, he helped me take care of a few things in there. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Um, I won't keep you though. Ah, I've got a, a dragon to find. <laughs> of course. You have fun with that. <laughs> that was nice. Or Lena. Perhaps she's off having another conversation elsewhere. Could check the caves. <sighs> Five fifteen. Where would I be? Probably wrapped up in a conversation somewhere. She's not with Gail. She's not with Flora. It's two people I really don't want her to be around. Um, or else things might go sour. She could be talking to Nishka, and if that's the case, they could be in the cave. I'll check.
Hmm. If I were clean, why would I be? Really? This was really unfortunate. <laughs> I suppose for the time being I could put this apple in my room. And then I'll do another round. Surely not. I shouldn't. I should leave them alone. <sighs> Maybe I didn't look hard enough. And go down to the beach. I really hoped. <laughs> Could check the cave, I suppose.
sorry to bug you. You know, I was, I was expecting to maybe find Feline in this cave. I didn't expect either of you. Um. What do you think, Mishka? Is there anything you haven't told her? What? Oh, I mean, probably. Yeah. But I don't think that any of this would be particularly a problem. What? Can you keep something from Polina? Not do you think you can, can you really properly keep something from her? It wouldn't be the first time. Um, it is a must. Would it hurt her if she knew? I think it would hurt every single one of us, including her. Yes. Then she'll never know. Take a seat. Oh. Oh. You're making me nervous, really. Okay. So. You know her better. You may actually just be able to disprove this. <sighs> the knife that Feline got taken. She saved my life. Of that I have very, very little doubt. I'm pretty sure those guys would have just straight murdered me and then taken her anyway. She went so far as to use her control over Inigo to stop that. She has never acknowledged that. I asked her about it, I thanked her for it. She refused to even acknowledge that it happened in the first place. She saved my life again in the veil. Like, I would definitely have just, like, died outside of the cave in the veil. Maybe not definitely. It would have been really bad, though. She didn't have to help me. But she did. And when pressed about it, you were in a, a pretty significant part of the explanation for why. She didn't acknowledge that she thought it might be worthwhile. The thing with the mother... Killing the son to help her. It's fucked up and convoluted and whatever. But there's not really a great selfish reason for her to have done it. So, if she won't acknowledge the selfless, good reason, and she won't acknowledge the premise of me having even been there when she was taken, or accept that she has helped people. To say that she did things to help people. Does that sound like the Feline that you knew before you got here? Feline who, from my experience, has been brutally honest about everything regardless of how much it's going to hurt the people that she tells it to. She's always been honest, but not as firm as she is now. Is there an argument to be made that this change was more pronounced after she was taken? It's hard to say, I know. There's been a lot of shit in the last several weeks. It's been more severe, though. Now, maybe that's a consequence of what happened there. But... Who else do we know that can't say certain things? I see where you're going with this. Maybe. 
You probably do. Am I insane for thinking that? I don't think so. Just depends on the lengths our own mother would go. Is there anything you know about the Queen that implies she wouldn't? No. to move carefully. If either of them learn what we're thinking, that might be enough for problems. Because you're right, it's weird that I'm allowed to be around. She's allowed to be around because she doesn't make any progress anymore. I'm sorry, but like, you know, Colleen doesn't listen to you all that much. I know. So you're not really a threat. But I'm a weird one. Right? Like, I think that I've made at least some progress with her. And that's not something that should be allowed to be continued. If we're right. Unless there's some deeper reason, which I think you were getting to. Or we're just speculating and throwing out ideas. My speculation is eventually she will help you to a point it's to her detriment and at which point I would not be particularly surprised if word got out about your affiliation this would then be justification for action to be possibly taken on a national scale. I... I don't... Maybe it's just that it's been a long day. I don't get it. Aaron is currently at odds with Lyndon. We have deployed forces against them. Imagine how it would look if the crown princess of the Jakaya kingdom were to die tragically in the company of a Linden rebel. Oh, fuck my life. It's a theory. I'm... The thing is, is it's not a stupid theory. It's... Probably be a stretch, in fairness, because that requires her to die, which doesn't seem like a very useful thing. <laughs> so, an attempt, you know. The other, again, uh, as I said before, an excuse if she is just continually crass, rude, and basically goading people on to attack her in a roundabout way by just being the worst version of herself she can be, someone will eventually act on it, and if she's constantly outside of the Empire when they do, it's also cause for, um, intervention of the crown. An excuse for her expansion. I mean, Leafside is not part of the Dukai Kingdom, for example. I don't think her mother wants her dead. But your, th your previous theory doesn't sound exactly off. It could be the case. Especially now that we're in Eren again and not in Suna. suppose speculating the ends really isn't worth our time 
so much as finding a way to thwart the process. It's important because once we've thwarted the process, we have to understand that that's going to have consequences. I mean, like what could we possibly do? In. I have been working on a ritual to dampen arcane effects healing a person. It's a work in progress, but it's making progress. Originally, I concocted it with Inigo in mind and Melody, but if it were to work, assuming it would work at all, I'm not going to assume, while I'm very clever, that um, I'm just simply going to be able to overcome an ancient dragon work. But if we were theoretically to perform the ritual on Feline and suddenly she is a completely different person, that says a lot about the situation and we could potentially I mean, if get it works answer. there's no reason she can't just tell us after it the best i can do is a day oh well fuck. Or, as far as the equations go that's it's not a perfect solution is there any chance that after you, you perform it her mother somehow finds out I shall know that something's off. That is a possibility, which is also why I have begun looking into that. Sorry, the runic circle on the other side of the wall. Oh, 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 got it. It's yeah, old. It there. It's very old. I'm uncertain on the details of even it's like looking at the math formula that you can barely understand. But what I can tell is it's a warding circle. Something to prevent people from getting in or perhaps magic from getting out. Uncertain on anything besides that it's a big magic wall. Right. Be if there's a way to understand it better. Maybe it nearly blew Gale to into my own equation. Smithereens, I don't, don't touch it, please. I'm not going to touch it, but I am going to possibly oh, worst attempt to I recreate it. I have experience it. with exploding. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very permanent and it's very strong. If it could be replicated or incorporated it could be a solution to making the effect a little more permanent I understand what if you had something that worked similarly light Well, like anything that the cultists have had going, with their family and all. Or... And again, with the definitely not with the telling. A certain something that... isn't here. Hmm. You get it, you might get it, I don't know. I think so. Is it perhaps something that is surprisingly out in the open for being as dangerous as it is? I can't tell if you're gesticulating or if you're trying to also speak I 
the ambience in the cave just it's it really muffles the sound yeah yep <laughs> you'd be correct in your assumption that yeah okay baby is really bad at keeping secrets Don't tell Fabian. Oh no, no, Fabian's the one who led me on that. That was a the top. No, I mean I we don't no... tell him about any of this. Oh shit. yeah, no, no. I assume we not. probably don't tell none of anyone at all. Don't. I promise not to tell, but I need to continue my search for Feline. I ran around this entire oh. place and didn't find her. Good luck. Thank you. Secrets. Is that Talia? Ah. Hi. Uh, Hi. Well, all right. How are you? How are you holding up? Fine. I haven't spoken to her all day. He's going to speak to her now, but it looks like she's about to sit down and have a conversation with Inigo. So. She was already talking with him when I came over. I asked if I could uh, step over there to have a moment to get away from everything, and she said no, and that they're busy, so. Got it. That sounds about right. Um. Well, I won't impose then. I suppose I'll just wait. <laughs> That's alright. Yourself? You asked if I was alright. Oh, that is a loaded question. Um, well, let's see. I had to deal with Melody today. And uh, attempt to fix whatever was happening with her. Um. Really, I was mostly making sure no one tried to kill her. Mm. Then I had to speak with Dogbell and Wolfric about many things. Uh, then in probably the most stressed moment I've had all day, I had that diplomat from North Acre come up to me and tell me that I killed their husband. So... Honestly, I'm barely holding it together right now. It seems like the right answer, really. Did you apologize to her? No. Why not? Because the way she spoke to me, the look in her eyes, she doesn't want an apology. She wants her husband back. And none of us can do anything about that. That's certainly the hard part, but I can't do anything about that. I think the least she's owed is an apology, but it's not my battle to fight. Mishka yelled at me for not saying sorry up front, so when I tried, she stopped. <sighs> like I said, she doesn't want an apology. I suppose the damage she is done. She told me so later. All we Frankly, can do now she is... she said she... Hmm? She said she doesn't want anything from me because nothing's going to bring him back. I don't know if the mayor of Northacre will accept that answer or respect her wishes. But 
Well, see. I didn't speak to her with the intention to get out of it, though. I just... <sighs> I know what it's like to live. I suppose all you can do now is wait and see what happens. Yes. However, I'm a little more concerned with the fact that them finding out means someone on the mission told the mayor. Knowing what the likely reaction would be. Someone's trying to get me killed. I think someone's just trying to get you to be accountable. Well, oftentimes accountability in these cases means a life for a life. Is that what she offered you? No, that's not what she offered me, but she made it very clear to me that that's what the mayor would have liked. Well, if the mayor wanted it that badly, he could have come himself. Instead, they sent her, knowing full well that it would hurt more. And she didn't ask for that. She told me that she wanted to see the monster that killed her. I don't think you're a monster. I think we've all got a lot to learn. We've all got a lot to be better at. Everyone, no one is free of it. I'm not, you're not, they're not, no one is. I'm aware of that. I'm well aware of that. I just wish that some people were a bit more understanding of circumstances. I'm sorry. It's a strange feeling not having much sympathy. I don't have anything against you for it. I just... Death and, and, and killing and... There are so many people who do it. And while I realize it's not something you had control over... When we first talked about it, it's not something you sounded like you had any remorse for. I just can't think that way. So many people, Feline included, I, I don't understand how it can be so nonchalant to take a life. You think that I have no remorse for it? I think so because of your actions. It's not that I have no remorse for it, it's that I'm used to it, and I'm all too aware of it. I don't know that that make it any better. Being used to it. Being used to killing. It's the... <laughs> it is the circumstances of my life. I was born into a pirate ship. 
death was part of the occupation from day one. Anyone I met who wasn't part of my ship likely would try to kill me, so... But you're not there anymore. Doesn't that change things? Does it change anything? It doesn't change that I'm used to it. That I've seen more than enough people die by my hand or others. That I can't sit and cry over it anymore. But to say that I don't feel remorse for it is also wrong. I signed up for that mission to Northacre because I thought it was the only thing I could do to pay it back. Go and do something to help out that town. Make sure no one else could get hurt. I wasn't chosen for that mission, but that's how it goes. Well, seeing how things went, I... I'm not sure it would have gone any better if you'd gone. Yeah. I don't take any joy in killing someone. I certainly don't take joy in those moments where I wake up from a period of blank memory to the taste of blood in my mouth. I... When I spoke to that woman, I told her I always hated the idea of paying someone back monetarily or through service for the death of another because that's putting a value on someone's life and someone's life is invaluable. So then what would you do instead? The best thing that I can do is to carry someone's memory with me. At the very least, if people remember them, if people know them, well, in a way, they're not gone. I know it's not the moral standing answer that most people would want to choose, but. Say, here's 500 coin for your loved one. That's what he was worth. I think that's cruel. So you wouldn't hold a trial or serve time for the crime that you commit? It's not, it's not something you would accept? a monster, if it really came down to it, then if what they wanted was for me to pay it back, sure, I would. I don't agree with that practice, but the fact is she didn't want that. She wanted him back. No one could I don't know. It is what it is, though. You're right about that. I suppose that's something you live with now. 
Isaac was his name. Remember that name. I certainly won't forget it. It's not the name of a man that I killed. You have some nerve. I tried all I could to make sure that no one got hurt. Unfortunately, my efforts weren't enough. It was a lot easier back on the ship, where all I had to do was weigh anchor and row out to an abandoned island. Tell the crew that I was hunting for a night. That we'd have fresh meat in the morning. No people, just the animals on the island. I've never lived around people like this before. Can I ask you a cruel question? Well, I certainly de don't deserve the option to say no to that, so... I am among the few that believe that more could have been done. Did you think it was a good idea to go on that mission knowing full well that that's what was going to happen? I tried to calculate the risks with it. I knew that there was risk in doing so, but I also knew that I washed up on the beach here without any money. And if I was going to stay here for any amount of time and keep people safe, I needed to buy much more of a rare, expensive plant to do so. And at the end of the day, I would have rather been out there where everyone was to be able to stop me in the worst case than here in town with guards who likely would not have survived that night. Yes, in hindsight, I could have told everyone and more preparations could have been made, but from my perspective, and as history has shown time and time again, when you tell people, by the way, I'm one of those monsters from the fairy tales that you heard as a kid, it usually ends with a hanging, a guillotine, or worse. Then I'm sure the reactions of some people yeah. here have surprised you. Wanting to protect you, wanting to keep you alive, even keeping you from serving time and paying for your crimes. Yeah, those reactions have been a surprise. I will keep those people very close to you. I intend to. I not had anyone like that before, let alone people I could actually trust all that much. I grew up and spent my entire life on a ship of liars and thieves, so trust doesn't come that easy. don't want to make an enemy out of you. We're both here doing the same thing. Serving the same guild. I just feel like... 
I need to see improvement. But I believe in you. I really do. Or else I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. I want, I want to see you succeed and overcome. And I want Wolfric to be right about you. I want Zogbell to be right about you. I want everyone who wants you dead to be wrong about you. There's another one of those surprises. You, who has been one of the most kind and patient people with me worrying about making an enemy out of me. <laughs> I'm just tired of the fighting. That's all. I came here to have a better life than what we had before. To actually live. And it's been nothing but climbing a mountain since we got here. Well, eventually you reach the peak of that mountain. I feel like I'm two steps away from just jumping off the edge. Well... A nice thing to know that if you were to jump, I imagine that there is a countless number of people who would catch you. <laughs> and frankly, I would throw myself over that ledge to catch you before I let you off. Don't be foolish. It's not worth all that. <laughs> there are people here who need you. And them. There are people here who need you too. Not sure I believe that, Dahlia. I used to think that I could be the change, that I could help people be better than they are. That doesn't work anymore. Reaching a limit. Well, I know the progress hasn't been exactly up to stuff for you, but I'd say that you've worked on me at least. Like I've told you before, I genuinely was just going to stop in, get some money, and leave. Hell, I considered stealing from the town at first to be the easiest course. But then I met people who treated me like a person for once in my life. In particular, there was this one small, dark-haired elf girl. <laughs> I try, mm -hmm. I guess. Throughout everything that's happened, you have continued to give me the benefit of your doubt. I certainly don't deserve that. For the life I've led, you probably should be reporting me to the town guard. <laughs> I'm surprised no one else has by now. Honestly, reporting you would only help my father. It's the last thing I want. Your father. <laughs> he 
He's got some sway on the naval military in Suna. It sounds like you and him don't have the best relationship. I've not been home in years. And I don't intend on going back. I think you're wrong about one thing there. As much of a struggle and annoying and frustrating as it be, I think you've been home for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. I'm really hoping this place stays home. I need it to. I don't think I'll make it through another migration. <laughs> Certainly um, can't afford to lose anyone else, that's for sure. My home was always moving. Migration was kind of part of the deal, but as far as I'm concerned, home is the people around. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm driving one of those people away simply due to differences that we have. She seems to find convent in a go, so at least she's not alone. <laughs> I don't know if it's comfort, I'd call it, but then again, I don't know their dynamic exactly. You notice she always walks up to him. It's never the other way around, really. I don't see her doing that with most people. Oh my god, it's like an old married couple. <laughs> I think it's good for her. She could use more allies. I noticed that she seems to have a particular liking towards Raz. We met him at the academy. It was. Hmm. She's got a soft spot for him. There used to be some more of us, but. You know paths and life happens and now he sticks to us mostly. I think she loves him. <laughs> it was certainly a bit of a whiplash to see how she acted around him compared to everyone else. <laughs> yes. It's sweet. It's almost it's almost like she used to be. She wasn't always yeah. so cruel. What changed? We moved to Erin. <laughs> you know, a lot of people give her flack for being a royal, but you notice she's here, not there with her mother. She doesn't want to be here. I don't care about her background or anything. I mean, Elena can freak out about that all she wants, but I've crossed paths with royals plenty of times. She certainly doesn't act like one. No. Certainly not. For better, for worse. I'm not going to continue to stand here, though. I'm just going to let her know to come find me later. One second. Yeah. <clears throat> Find me later if you have a moment. I promise it's not bad. the most I can do. I no 
know that my efforts aren't enough, Anna. And I'm sorry that they're not. Things are very confusing and hard for me. As they are for a lot of people for various reasons. I don't think you owe me an apology. You don't owe me anything. It's not necessarily your fault that I've set expectations for you. Oh, that's not my fault, but... I say I owe you for the kindness that you still continue to show me despite that. Just don't make me regret it. Who have said I will do my best. The others who have set expectations for me are not so gentle about it. No, everyone can be quite abrasive sometimes. Everyone's got their own sense of justice. I just try to do my best. I'm not a god. I'm not a, a godsman. I'm just... Just me. Trying to do the right thing. Well, I think that that makes you a good person. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I've done a lot of damage in my time. Though I'm not very old oh, yet. Please but to regale me. <laughs> I got what arrested exactly once. Have you done? Really? Really? Yeah. Locked up. <laughs> what for? Trying to flee the country with my little brother. He was far too young to be uh, taken from home. Probably wasn't my best plan, but when do I ever make any good plans? They always seem to come back and bite me. And why exactly were you trying to flee? I think life would have been really hard if we'd stayed. And unfortunately, I am here, but he is there. I don't think that that makes you a bad person. Sure, in the eyes of the law, you've done something wrong, but... As I have seen time and time again in my life, the law is not the ultimate determiner of good and evil. In fact, many times the law itself is the evil. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, just take that guard's reaction to Feline wanting to sleep in her own bed. <sighs> You're right about that. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Did you find her? Yeah, she's talking to Inigo on the beach. Good night. Melody's okay. He's fast asleep. She's probably gonna be knocked out for the rest of the night.
swim. She was right behind me. No, I don't think he would. I think he could. I don't think he would. Do you think you want did. a drink? It's been a long day. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I think um, I just need a little bit of sleep. Need to drink. <laughs> Fair enough. I well, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. What? Did you ever find Feline? Oh, she's at the beach. I know. I just wanted to make sure you know. Oh, yeah, thank you. What are you up to? Um, I've not decided yet. No. <laughs> um, I I don't know yet. Aimless, I suppose. You want company? Sure. You can say no. It's perfectly alright. It's been a long day. I mean, I could sit here, really. I don't have to go anywhere. I could listen, if you don't mind me. I think... I think everyone here would be more than happy to have her, right? <laughs> I'd be like a shadow. You won't know me. Just us, sitting here. Have a wonderful conversation about morality, you know, as you do, or at this oh, time goodness. of the night. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it is yeah, a fucked up, and I fully understand. What the fuck? How long have you been sitting here? <laughs> not see me. Oh my god. <gasps> I forgot about Jack. <gasps> I'm the worst DM ever. Question, do you have your, do you have your, do you have your shoes off or something, you stealthy bitch? Excuse me? <laughs> really not. <laughs> uh, maybe Melody's invisibility rubbed off on me or something. Oh, that's Probably cool. I wish I could do that. Works, you know what? Maybe I should learn how to do that. Huh. Well, I mean, it's good to have you still. It still is a surprise, honestly. <laughs> uh, it's. I'm torn, really. Night. Invisibility or scry. Mm -hmm. You know, for some reason. Sneaky skills to spy on people? <laughs> Mostly just to be helpful, really. I can imagine. You've heard the term water has memory. Actually, I haven't. Is this a, a saying from Sula? Sort of. It's like. I don't know. You look at the entire world, and it's all one big ocean. It's all been everywhere, it's seen everything. What if it could tell you stories? What if you could look at it and it could say to you that they've seen things? I want to hear what it has to say. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's true, but... I want to know. Well, in my experience, the sea has many stories, and you can read them rather than hear them. <laughs> yes, I suppose I could. But imagine I look at the current. I look at that very current. And I see your ship sailing through. Uh, 
like one way. We can also see stories of those past, such as a ship sunk in or dashed against some rocks as the waves crash in. If you're brave enough, you can dive into the ocean and look under that water. See the stories that the life under there has to tell. I thought she was going to bed. Hmm. Frankly, if you want the sea to tell you stories, you should sit down and talk with Melody. It really is a shame that I don't know her more. We traveled all this way. Hmm. You know, on a sea we always had those tales about sea monsters, giant serpents, and tentacled beasts that would take down your ship. I've heard of those too. Of course, those are always just. Oh, it's always just tales, but the meeting Melody, I got to talk to her about that, and she could tell me, because she lived in the ocean, that those things are in fact real. <laughs> I've seen them are technically just like people. <laughs> Too many ships come back as damaged as they do for it to be done by other people. It's got to be sea beasts. She said that the Kraken, for one, is really just a grumpy old man who doesn't like kids in his lawn. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's quite large, so his lawn covers a large area. You sound tired, Nishka. It has been a phenomenally long day. Also, I don't sleep when they're all away, so... I yeah. Really I can understand that. Too afraid that they won't come back. I do agree that something that is... Hmm. We do have a point where they're... I was expecting issues. More but not... My mother used to tell quite today. A sort of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad nobody punched anyone. <laughs> All things considered, well, it I, ended fairly well. Uh, it's I did try to flap Nishka at one point. My brother used to say Why? We both had gotten heat of each the other. Why? <laughs> We made up about it. Yes, I do. <sighs> was a great woman. Has anyone seen Ginny come out of the guild hall? I've been looking, but no. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's not an alcohol run. Hold on. Check on her? Yes, I do. Ugh. Ginny? That's really odd.
Are those empty? No, this one's empty. There isn't any more. It's so good that you still have one. Do you have access to your home yet? Yes. They'll be Thank sleeping you. there tonight. If I am going to be sleeping there, are you? Uh, no, no, I was just checking. Yes. I do have a spare key to give you though, actually, if you don't mind. I had some made, one for you and, and, and Ginny and Mosa. I still have to give Ginny hers, but. I think Ginny must have went out the side door or something over by the training grounds because I couldn't find her. conversation got interrupted some week ago. But I never stopped thinking about what you asked. I have an answer for you. There is a uh, goblin poet from Astana who once wrote in a mo moving poem. What do you do? when the only root available to you can no longer provide nourishment. Think on that. That's my answer to the question. As to why. I don't want to keep you. I know you've been waiting. That's all right. Good night, Mishka. Good night. Small gold key. Now you can get in whenever you need. You've always got a place to stay here if they ever decide to be foolish and lock you out of your own home again. <laughs> you didn't see that. See what? <laughs> Are you alright? Well, 
Well, you're asking. I think you know why I'm asking. I just want to make sure you're okay, though. What have you heard? Um... I heard that you killed Jonathan. And that's sort of the bulk of it. Uh, minus some details, but... I know that people aren't very happy about it. I'm not here to lecture you. I just want to check in. I wonder what you think, then. With the details that I've been given, and I think even without, you know me well enough to know that I wouldn't like that very much. But as I said, I'm not here to make it worse. It's probably been a long day. I've heard it enough from other people about what happened, and I'm sure you've been talked to a bunch already. You're not going to say your piece. I'm not sure that I need to. I wonder why that is. Seems like other people want to. I'm not other people. I guess you're not. <laughs> well, that didn't explain how you're taking it. I'm sure it's been a lot today. A lot of different kind of opinions, I guess. I don't know how I feel. I'm not feeling sorry for what I did. As I've said to many of us, other people. I did what I did, and I thought that was right. I can understand that people are mad and sad. But I did what I did, and I stand by it. You're the person that has to live with it. It's better that you don't change your mind about it, I suppose. I have to live with a lot of things. So it does, it's not anything new. Does it ever get heavier, doing the things that you do? Depends, I guess. You seem odd. What do you mean? You seem a bit somber, um, mellowed out, I suppose. Well, it has been a lot today. A lot of opinions, as I said. I do not ha know how to feel.
I have to do for it. I have to. Hmm? I do not feel safe here. Every time I turn my back, I look behind because I think that somebody is going to stab my back. It's a long time since I've had it like that, but it came back. No good he did that today. No. But they could have. They could have, but they didn't. Doesn't that mean something? I do not know if it means anything. Maybe they're waiting for the shop. He's thinking of leaving. You never know. I was thinking about it when I was in the situation. When you were in that North Acre. But then you reminded me of something. I'm here for a reason. I'm not giving up yet. Ginny is allowed to leave if she says goodbye. But. But you're not. What? You're not allowed to leave. I, I think that is my own. Then decision. I'll go with you. No, you are not. Definitely not. Oh, you can't leave me here. I told you I was not going to leave. But not right now, at least. Ever. If you go, I go. <laughs> and I will run, and you will not find me. He wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> would you would you run away I'd have any to look after you that wasn't a no I'm not I'm not gonna leave now but that means if it ever happens in the future, you would leave me here. Just because it's not now doesn't mean it's not ever. I would, I would say goodbye. I promised that I would. It's not happening now. Is it? Ever. I can't promise you that. I don't know what guild. I'm on thin eyes with them already. Then we go together. <laughs> no. No. You'll not be safe there. Who cares? 
I don't want to lose I anyone can. else. Well, you have Ginny. If she doesn't leave. You have... Martha. As much as I would love to follow him. I'm a burden for him. Follow him. Is he going anywhere? No. I just as an example. I suppose it wouldn't be very different from you then. I'm not as fast as you or as strong as you. It would probably be quite hard for me to follow. I wouldn't leave you behind, knowing that you're not safe. <laughs> that is unsure. So it would take me with you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not, but, you know, I was just... I'll walk you home. It would be nice for you to sleep in your own bed again. It's been a while. I haven't talked to the man yet. I haven't seen him. Yes, I've noticed that's an issue for quite a few people at this point. You know where Ginny is? Right here. Oh! I was coming from the guild hall. You were you in there the whole time? I, I've heard no. I mean, so I I went back to my house and then I realized that I didn't have any coffee, so I went to the guild hall and Zogwell was there, and then I went talk to Zogwell and now I'm here. Oh, you're not in any trouble, are you? Eh. Not in any more trouble than I already was, which is to say on unsteady ground with the guild leaders, but... Both of you. He's not gonna kick me out, I don't think. Probably. Not right now. <laughs> I stand by what I did. As I said to her, as long as you don't regret it. Did you need something? <laughs> no, I was just wondering where you were. That oh, you haven't okay. left or anything. I wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. We just had this conversation about her leaving, and she mentioned you leaving, and now she's saying weird things to you. Neither one of you are allowed to leave. I'll put a, a water bo barrier up right now. Do not turn me. Do you think? Do you think that will hold me? It'll hold you until I run out of mana, or until we tug on your ears and make you stop. I don't like that. I won't, I promise. <laughs> that would be horribly cruel. <laughs> Don't leave. I... I was not gonna leave now. <laughs> I was gonna leave in general, but okay. That's what I said. Good enough for tonight. Did you blabber me? So have you your talk. Anna's been looking for you for like two minutes, two hours. No, I'm not. She's allowed to know things. She's... We have a friend triangle. Uh, I guess. I know lots of things. I am very well educated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. 
my god. I will never recover from this. Go, talk. No. Like I said, she's been looking for you for like two I was months. walking her to her house. Like a gentleman. Oh, okay. Like a gentleman. Are yeah. you courting her now? <laughs> I think she'd be sick of me. <laughs> I was just being polite. She gets to sleep in her own bed. <laughs> I don't know if it's legal. First time for everything. I don't care. What? Legal? That for me to court you? Is that not no. allowed, in Aaron? No. I think we need to talk. Strange to policies they have here. Right. In sooner you can love whoever you want. Is that all I said? <laughs> Fleen. Good night. I'm glad you're back. It's been a long week without you here. I am back. With some scratches here and there, but they will not character. We can look at them. Uh at some point. But I, I hope you get some sleep. So it's fine. You too. What did you say to me? Good night, Are please. you still in character? Good night. Yeah? Why? Okay. Why? Uh, tradition. Final scene. <laughs> Take your time. How do I? <laughs> I was like, how do I count all the stones on the ground? <laughs> I hate you. I saw you eavesdropping on my conversation with Flora earlier. You were in the middle of a fucking plaza. And Anybody you were hiding behind a pole. I was you waiting for something. I wasn't eavesdropping. I was waiting for favor. Oh wait, hold on. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> I was about to head to bed. Did you need something? Okay. If it has anything to do with that club, I'm not sure I'll be of any use. Um, I do think it has something to do with the club, and it is with this club. Mm. Okay. Um. So, long story short, I've been trying to get someone to pop a hole in the side of my belt so I could hold this damn thing. But people have been over overcomplicating it. Really? That's it? Yes. You couldn't... <laughs> people have been being like, oh, I'll get some belts, Ken. Yeah, but the thing is... I also need to, you know, when you cut into something, there's bound to be more holes in it because, you know, it's kind of... Are you able to... Give me your belt. ...sell things? Hey. Um, <laughs> hold on. I have, to put, I, have to put, I have to put this down somewhere. Somewhere where it won't break. Stone wall? I don't know. Fireplace. All right. I mean, do you need it right away? I could have it to you tomorrow. You're asking me to sew it, so it's just, it's not something I can just like snap my fingers and then give it back to you, you know? I'll just leave this here then. Okay, I still need your belt. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Okay. I can do that. 
It's because it's the only thing. It's the only thing keeping my pants on. So you're telling me that if I took your belt, your pants would fall down. You don't have the guts. First of all, it's rude. Sure, fine. Sure, fi fine. I, I'll call I, don't I, I don't need to see that. I don't need to see it. On, I was just on. asking if that's what would happen. Stop it. Why, why don't you? Altofeline, you're harassing me. Oh, yeah. Get, 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 get the actual murder. Clip out. out. Fuck. <laughs> You did, that buckle was hot as a wool. <laughs> anyway, I think that you and I both know that you won't be getting Feline for this. No, in fact, I wouldn't want to make things worse between you two, so. I saw you comforting Flora. Felt like I had to. You wanted to. What difference does it make? One is an obligation and one is out of the kindness of your heart. Alright. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Is she doing alright? I think we we walked by her still. Um Well I was gonna say bitching, but that's I was gonna say complaining, but Well that's not very fair. Still Morning. About it. Morning. Grieving. She's upset and she has every right to be. Yeah, I, I know. That's, I, I, that was the first word that came to mind. I, then, then, then I was like, it <laughs> wasn't the right word. It's alright. <sighs> you look a lot better than the last I saw you as well. Mm-hmm. She's doing better, though. I got to ask her that. I'm glad. Soul's kind of standing there. <laughs> I haven't talked to her about it yet. I didn't want to add to the pile of people today. She wouldn't have listened. It's better for her to get some sleep and then we could actually have a civil conversation. But. What she did wasn't exactly right. I'm not going to defend her because she's my friend. I'm going to hope she makes it through whatever happens to her because of her actions, but... If we hold Talia accountable for the guard that she killed, then we hold Feline accountable for the... For... For... For murdering someone too. Yeah, that takes 
an account of like past off well. If we took into account past stuff, then I think everyone would be under arrest. Yeah. Can I ask you something strange? You're gonna anyway. <laughs> when you think about, if you think about, people that you've had to kill in the past. What do you feel? I don't feel anything. Is that just as bad as not feeling it? As feeling anything? I think it's worse. But it's hard to say. I don't know what it's like where you're from. I don't know what it was like to try and survive. I don't know what you had to do every day to make it to the next. That doesn't show you would want to want to know more I don't quite I understand tell you I know what it's called. I know what it's called. What? What do you else call Asmith? My family calls it the Wastes. gonna entertain you with ghost stories. As long as you don't go there, then you might as well be on the other side of the world. Well, it is. As long as you don't go there, why don't not exist anyway? You're being sort of cryptic. Must be pretty awful if you're not being straightforward with me for once. Well, let me put it to you this way. I did feel something before. Before I felt nothing. At first it was downright terrifying. Take your first life, you're all like, oh no, what have I done? What could I have done to avoid that? Is there anything I can do to possibly make this right? The next few times, it's just as scary, not more frightening. And then as you s you get your next handful, that fear starts to just go away. 
then you start to feel a little more justified in your actions. Saying, hey, why do I have to merc all these guys? Why can't they just leave me alone? I'm just trying to protect myself. And then you're kind of inviting, like, well, if they're going to throw their, themselves at me, I might as well take their lives. Then after, you think to yourself, that your actions are justified, that you're just defending yourself. Well, then you kind of open the door to kind of snapping at anyone that looks you the wrong way because you got so used to just anyone wanting a piece of you. That's when it gets fun. And then you can only have so much fun when it starts to get boring. to now. Sorry if that's not what you want to hear. It isn't, but... I'm glad that I know. I don't think of you much differently. I'm the same as you were yesterday. I just know more now. You don't wanna... You don't wanna help out. And I can't sit here and pretend like I know what it was like for you. That won't get me anywhere. All I can do is... Try and understand things the way you see them. Even if I don't agree. So then what do you think about this whole thing with Northacre and Feline? What do you think? I can only see some points she makes being rather valid. But, she always says she tried to do it out of her kindness. I don't believe that for a second. She has the opposite problem you do. trying to understand, asking questions, trying to see the world through different lenses and scopes, even if you don't experience them firsthand, well, the people you understand through them, kind of that lens. is her world. Personal. 
almost it doesn't affect her. Doesn't matter to her. It's it's frustrating. I often ask people why they do things or what they think and how they feel because I try to understand where they're coming from before I I don't know, judge them I suppose because who am I? But I never feel like I I can agree with some of the things that she says. I wish so badly that I did. It would make all of our lives, hers and mine, so much easier at least. But I don't understand. And that's... I say I didn't want to add to her plate today, but I think honestly I'm just afraid of hearing something that I don't like. Something that I won't understand. Again. I think that's the truth of it. Have you ever understood her before? Like fully in comprehension? I'm sure that I must have at some point. There's just been so much going on lately. It's hard to keep track of it all. It's played by the bag. I, I, like, I, I want to say her, um, like punching Elena was something I could have understood, but I don't understand escalating the situation. I don't understand why that was the default. I don't understand. Now she's talking about how she doesn't feel safe. Hmm. Oh, we're fucking doomed. I know it's a mess of her own making, but... She really can't leave. Neither can you. Not yet, anyway. say she can't leave. Then you might as well agree with her on everything as it as it stands. I can't. I don't. Then she's gotta reap what she sows. Can't protect her from that. You're right. But maybe I can do what I can to make it hurt less. For everyone. yourself in the crossfires, you know that. I do, though, because if I don't... Who's going to step in? We already saw that. Nobody does anything but watch. I was just waiting for Flora to do something in the, in the, the mess hall.
I prayed that Wolfric would step in. But if he didn't... I'm not going to make that mistake twice. I can't afford to. Would you have let it happen? Better. <laughs> yes. Merely because I know Vlora. She would have thrown a punch. But if she would have... If Feline hit her back, she, would have, she probably wouldn't hit her back at all. <laughs> that much I guarantee. It would have stopped with second. I was proud of her in that moment. Fleen could have pushed her, screamed at her, or hit her. But she didn't. And it's so bittersweet, because I want to say that that's progress, and it is, but... You learn that when you're ten. <laughs> I think... Just got neg 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 negated <laughs> when you know she just <laughs> Jonathan wasn't the first. He probably won't be the last. Then how many lives will it take before she learns? people will she have to kill and will it be worth it in the end no I imagine she'll drive away or, or hurt everyone that cares about her before she learns anything I'm afraid of that including you Mm. I'm trying. I have to keep Sorry, secrets from her now. still be here even if you fail. Are you smart enough to... It's always you. You always say things that I need to hear. You give me too much credit, really. I hate that it's you. Because I know one day you'll go somewhere that I can't follow you. But at the same time, I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you for letting me be one of your failures.
Do you really feel like this is the path you have to be on? With all of your heart, this is what you have to do. You really have changed a lot. Back at the academy. He told me not to give you hope. But here you are. I understand. You've got things to take care of. But even if for just a moment, entertain the idea that maybe, maybe you don't have to do it by yourself. Not sure that I was mind. I don't think I'd mind. I don't really have any dreams of my own. Say that. Then when shit hits the fan, you're gonna wish you were. You know. Do you know how? The moment you get socked in the face, the first thing that comes to mind, it's just, I really wish I was home right now. I, I like, that's the first thing that comes to the people's mind. <laughs> there's some, there's some bitterness in that. was home for me, Marcel. It's not like I've never been here before. I'm not afraid. You know, the old Marcel probably would have flipped the table and try and made you flinch. Old Anna knew that he wouldn't do it, though. I think that's why I tested my luck so much. Maybe you would have at first, yeah, but... Mm. I think... Old Marcel and New Marcel both have something in common that, that, that still pisses them off to this day. I miss you. I know that's selfish, but... Why do you keep looking at the door? There's no one there. I could have sworn I heard something go on. I know that's selfish, and I'm... 
I'm happy that you're doing things that you want to do. It's quiet in here though. Is that selfish? I think you're allowed to be selfish. At least once in a while. Even the night that Ginny and Feline left into the Vale. It was awful, it was an awful night. And I never want to do it again, but... I felt okay because you were right there. Just like you used to be. And it's like everything wrong just didn't matter anymore. And that tomorrow would be okay because... Because I'd wake up and... You'd be there. But that's true even if it... You know... You not being here. Even now this is... This talk has made me feel like I could climb three more mountains. I appreciate you. Then, if it makes you feel any better, sleeping there was the game plan from the start. <laughs> Don't force yourself. Then why? You came in here with a plan to sleep on my couch. Why? Why not? I don't know. It seems pretty That's specific. It. You, you, you are like, you like having me around and well, <laughs> it's, it's not. Santa. Sometimes I, sometimes I look for you as well. Sandra said, like, I guess it's similar to how she explained it, because, like, being near me, so maybe it's like the same thing, you know? Unless I'm wrong. Like, just, ha just having a person there, it's just. It's it, nice. It's, yeah, I, that's the word. That's, that's what it is. It's nice knowing that even though we're in separate rooms, I don't have this entire space to myself. It gets lonely. But as I said, the couch is always yours, and I gave you a spare key for a reason. You're I'm welcome whenever. It <laughs> you do still have it, right? You didn't pawn it off somewhere. No. It wouldn't work anywhere else, anyway. Right. With a key, if you don't know what door it opens. 
Unless you sell it to some weirdo in the east side, they'll try every single door until it works. Pretty sure they'd be caught before they, you know, them walking from door to door. No, noticing that it's not opening. Someone's bound to see that and be like, hey, you. Stop that. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's Nothing. Nothing. It's just. <sighs> it's gonna take a really long time, but I'm doing something special with the apple you gave me. So you have to stay until it's done. You, you were supposed to eat it. I did eat it, but I also kept it afterwards. How, how do you how do you keep something you already eat? See, it's just a core. I'm not gonna eat the center of it. That's kind of gross. And what? No, you. The core is the seeds, right? That's what you mean. Mm-hmm. That's gross. They'll get stuck in your teeth. Huh. No, you just swallow them. Do you eat the skin on an orange? No. Okay, good. I was just checking. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just know that if you plan on leaving, you have to wait until I'm done with my project. Okay? I plan on leaving. Like, leaf side or the door? Le leaf side. Uh, Aaron, any anywhere far away that I'll never get to see you again. If I plan on leaving, I have to stay until that's done. Mm-hmm. That's what you say. Mm-hmm. Promise is a promise. <clears throat> You're not allowed to guess. I mean, it's an apple. You're gonna make a tree, ain't you? No. Of course not. What else are you going to do with seeds? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Go to bed. No. <laughs> Come on, keep trying. I, uh, I, I swear I just felt a little draft just now. Grab tail. If it was anyone but you, I would have kicked you from behind. <laughs> That's not the reaction I was expecting. I've been wanting to do that for a really long time. You should be proud of me, I resisted the urge. People like to do that to me for some reason. It's because it's... What? Nothing. No, nothing. It's kind of cute. It's a tail. You're right. It's just okay. a tail. I mean, how would you feel if someone grabbed your ears? 
Ginny already said that to me today. They're really sensitive. I don't like that very much. But you didn't seem like your tail was sensitive. It is. I just... I'm used to people pulling it. Well, I didn't pull it. I just... Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> You could tuck it into your belt. I don't have that much control over my tail. It just kind of swings around. Is it true that it helps you with balance? Yeah, it does. Hmm. That's even really cool. Sometimes I don't even feel it. You're probably used to it by now. Hmm. Thanks for talking with me. you say so. Good night, Mozart. 